The cardamom plant is perennial and grows 2 to 3 meters in height. It has white flowers with reddish to blue stripes. The fruit capsules or pods grow near the ground and contain the seeds which are used as spice. They are gathered before they are ripe to prevent bursting during the drying process, which would lead to loss of the flavor and the essential oil. The plant needs a hot tropical climate for spontaneous wild growth or cultivation. Cardamom has been a domestic spice since more than 3000 years and was and is profusely used in India, Sri Lanka and all over Southeast Asia. The Egyptians already used cardamom oil for their ceremonies and their perfumes. The spice was later brought to the West and became well known by the Greek and the Romans. Hippocrates already mentioned cardamom in his scriptures and recommended it for sciatica, abdominal pains, spasm, nervousness and respirational problems. It was also considered to be a good medicine against epilepsy, stiffness, paralysis and rheumatism. The physicians of the ancient school of Salerno in Italy prescribed cardamom against cardiac disorders and mentioned it as a good diuretic and stomachic remedy. In South Asia, cardamom seeds are used to treat inflammations of the gums and the throat. It is also used there in diverse medical powders and beverages, often together with other ingredients, to be used as a laxative and for soothing the stomach. Cardamom's unique and intensely aromatic fragrance makes it a choice spice oil for teas and numerous food preparations. With its fresh and at the same time spicy, warm, slightly woody, sweetish odor on a background of a citrus top note, it is also widely used in modern perfumery. From an Ayurvedic perspective, as Vasamblad writes in his book The Yoga of Herbs, cardamom awakens the spleen, stimulates samana vayu, the digestive fire or agni, and removes kapha from the stomach and the lungs. It stimulates the mind and heart and gives clarity and joy. It is also considered to detoxify caffeine in coffee and to neutralize the mucus-forming properties of milk. So the, the the fruits the fruits are boiled for six seven hours and then they are dried. Cardamom's quality is sattvic, and it is particularly good for opening and soothing the flow of the pranas in the body. It is also considered to reduce fever. Chinese medicine describes cardamom as a qi tonic. It emphasizes on one hand its strengthening effect on the lungs and on the spleen, and on the other hand describes it as a nerve tonic and to give joy to the spirit. As such, cardamom may well act as an antidepressant due to its ability to remove weakness of the qi. The essential oil's main effect lies in helping digestive disorders. Science has found out that cardamom relaxes and tonifies the intestinal smooth muscle. Frictions with cardamom oil on the stomach or two or three drops on honey help relieve indigestion, gas and bloating. It is also indicated in case of nausea, morning sickness, colitis, irritable bowel syndrome, indigestion and cramps. Dr. Telfon, a French medical aromatherapist, recommends to blend cardamom oil in combination with the essential oils of cumin and peppermint in a base of olive oil to enhance digestion. Cardamom's major biochemical compounds are alpha tepanil acetate, 1.8 cineol or eucalyptol, linalyl acetate and linalol. Its refreshing eucalyptol compound blends well in combination with essential oils such as Ravinsara, different eucalyptus oils, myrtle, kajiput, niaoli, spike lavender 
and also with conifer oils. This can well help to prevent and relieve respiratory problems such as congestion of the lungs, bronchial problems, coughing, etc. With its antibacterial effects, cardamom oil may also well be used as a mouth freshener for oral cleansing. Cardamom's popular use today is mainly in culinary preparations and baking products or as an additive to herbal teas and for perfumery, of course. Due to its tonic stimulating effects on the spirit, cardamom oil is highly interesting for use in room sprays and aroma diffusers to refresh and clear the air and purify the atmosphere. It is excellent to change a dull and sleepy environment. And a few drops of cardamom oil on the stomach and solar plexus have an immediate soothing tonifying effect on our inner environment, so to say. Its warming tonifying character make it also a beautiful oil in combination with carrier oils for massage formulas, for example. Cardamom is truly a gift of Mother Nature. It conveys happiness and has an enlivening character which pleases the spirit in us and at the same time soothes the physiology. With its strong tuberculous roots groping deep and large into the ground, similar to ginger, curcuma, galgant or others, the plant shows its well-rootedness in the here and now. On the other side, with its vigorous green leaves stretching out to impressive height, cardamom manifests that earthbound energy can rise to a powerful vertical expansion, pulling in maximum of cosmic light and directing it down again very near to the ground and concentrating it into its spicy sun and kindled fruits. Quite a miracle of performance, one could say. It is through these small sun and kindled fruits with their tiny little seeds that cardamom reveals its true nature, releasing a warming, comfortable, healing energy which is able to strengthen the human metabolic functions and simultaneously helping to uplift and liberate the spirit from its bondage in its physical structure. It is in this interplay between the forces of earth, which bestow stability, and fire for the digestive tract and air and ether for respirational problems that cardamom expresses its main therapeutic properties and makes its essential oil a unique ally for a healthier and happier life. Thank you.